lawyers. He thanked the Australian community for its support of him, the other juveniles in the videos and their families. Dylan Voller has also apologised for his wrongs. He says he can't wait to get out to make up for them. With me in the studio now is Warren Mundine. He's the chairman of the government's advisory council on Indigenous issues. And in Melbourne, we're joined by Indigenous MP and the newly appointed Assistant Health Minister, Ken Wyatt. Gentlemen, thank you both for talking to 7.30. First to you, Ken Wyatt. The Federal Indigenous Affairs Minister was warned lunchtime yesterday to watch this. He didn't. He watched it when the Prime Minister told him to. Did you need urging to watch this report? No, I... I was in my uh, hotel room last night, turned on Four Corners and watched the uh, program from beginning to end and then I sent a text message to the Prime Minister. Is a Royal Commission into juvenile detention in the Territory enough? There have been other problems in other states. Look, I think there's always a beginning point and in terms of duty of care uh, that we have, I, the decision by the Prime Minister and the Attorney-General to hold a Royal Commission I think is the appropriate step. It'll go to what occurred in Dondale, and then there is the potential for it to look at other issues that arise out of uh, the inquiry. Does it worry at all that the Northern Territory Government, as well as prison officials, just didn't seem to appreciate that they, they had a duty of care here? Look, I don't know, and I can't answer for them, other than to say that we do, as adults, have an obligation in the way that we treat our children. And having those visual images go worldwide uh, through the media outlets does not paint our country in a good light. Now, Warren Mundine, how did you feel watching that report? Well, <clears throat> it was pretty tough. It was pretty tough to watch that uh, the, the Four Corners report last night uh, and seeing what, what was happening there. Uh, you know, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm very pleased with the Prime Minister that he did come out so strong and so quickly uh, for to re to resolve these issues, even with some of my. Uh, cynicism in regard to royal commissions, you know, like look at the black deaths in custody and back in the 90s and that, and uh, we're still waiting for results from that. In fact, in the last, since 2004, the incarceration rate of Indigenous kids have gone up 100%. So, look, support it, we need to drive forward and we need to be focusing on what the real issues are here. Does it need to be broader than the Northern Territory? Uh, look, I think they need to focus on, on the cultural problems that are clearly there in regard to the corrective services. Uh, that need to be dealt with because that's to me is quite obvious. Uh, we need to deal with the issues of juveniles within uh, juvenile detention centres. Uh, I've sat on a number of committees over the years and and I've not seen any evidence that locking up kids actually works. In fact, it's just a training ground, a university for bigger criminals and, and going into the, into the larger uh, jails outside. And we've got to really focus on, OK, how do we get kids out of jail? How do we stop kids going into jail and deal with issues. But the first step, and this is what the important step is, they need to do have proper police investigations into this in regard to what well, we're waiting for this Royal Commission to kick in. Um, just on your scepticism, what would extinguish your scepticism into this Royal Commission? Well, my scepticism will be that when the Royal Commission actually comes out uh, with a report and have recommendations that we actually, you know, we work towards making sure they happen. You know, we had a whole heap of recommendations come out of uh, of the Black Deaths in Custody report and hardly any of them was put in place. In fact, I've not seen any Royal Commission or any investigation into Indigenous affairs in these areas that has ha had a result for Indigenous people that benefited from it. In fact, if you look at the Closing the Gap uh, reports, we're actually going backwards in so many areas. Now, you're the Chief Advisor. Has anyone rung you today to, to ask you what you think? Well, no, the Prime Minister hasn't rung me. No one has, he has rung me in regard to advice that they would like to have in regard to this, I did, which I did find quite bizarre. It's about, let's get back to the real issues here. We've got a cultural problem within the, the corrective services industry. And uh, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes further than the Northern Territory. But let's focus on the real issue in the Northern Territory at the moment and deal with those issues and start dealing with, the, uh, with, with that and then come back and start dealing with how do we deal with juvenile crime and getting kids out of the juvenile uh, uh, detention centres. Now, Ken White, that is the point, isn't it? A, a lot of these juveniles aren't angels, but they're pretty damaged. What is the solution? Look, I think in terms of incarceration rates and in terms of diversionary programs we've got to bring again. Australian governments together mm -hmm. and have the discussion around some real effort to redirect these kids back into pathways that are much more meaningful than to be in a cycle of recidivism where they're 
coming out of prisons and they're going back in. Yeah, the uh, there is also a police uh, culture that is important in the interactions with communities and there's a whole raft of issues that we're going to have to seriously consider in how we address the levels of incarceration rates. Uh, levels of incarceration rates, but also it comes down to also the issue of broken families, doesn't it? And, and you know, dealing with children. Well, there's a whole lot of underlying issues from education, health. Uh, there are the uh, challenges within some families, not all families, and we shouldn't say that every Aboriginal child comes from a problematic family. But peer pressure also plays a key role. And I think this Royal Commission given the images on Four Corners, is a right step forward. And I want to acknowledge the Prime Minister being decisive on making the decision to hold a Royal Commission and for those matters in the Territory to come forward. But at the same time, parallel work needs to happen with Australian governments. Warren Mundine, is there any jurisdiction in Australia, indeed the world, that is doing something right and uh, lowering the number of juveniles that are in, in custody, rehabilitating them and putting them out in the communities. Look, you, we've seen some statistics today in regard to the, the, you know, the downturn in incarceration rates in, even in Australia, except in the Indigenous area. The Indigenous area is going through the roof. And so we've got to uh, focus on those areas uh, which you had the problems and, and we've got to be honest about it because one of the things that I, I was saying earlier today was that when we look at the, 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 the crimes that are committed against Indigenous women, abuse against children, the homicide rates in Western Australia against Indigenous women, then then that's going to clash with incarceration rates because so we've got to get the real picture here. Why are people you know, going to, into in juvenile detention centres? why are people going into jails and actually focus on those areas to stop it. In regard to incarceration rates, people have been saying for a long time now we need to have that as a closing the gap figure. I think they're barking up the wrong tree. The real issue is about how do we reduce crime and that will also have a flow and effect in regard to incarceration rates and also jobs and education. Ken Wyatt, just quickly, should a solution be kept open of a full federal takeover of the juvenile justice system in the Northern Territory? No. I, I think that we take the lessons out of this and the Northern Territory Government has to manage its own uh, challenges around juvenile justice. It's not the responsibility of uh, the Commonwealth to look after juvenile detention centres in either the state or territories, but the intervention of the Royal Commission will certainly highlight what needs to be done, what support the Commonwealth can provide to ensure that this does not happen again. Gentlemen, thank you both thank you. for talking to 7.30 tonight. It's a pleasure, Sabra. My pleasure. Thank you. Outnumbered 20 to 1, Australian troops fought again.